Okay, boys and girls, we uh, put some gas into the tank here. And because we want to test if anything leaks, we're testing for leaks, gasoline leaks. Because these holes, this hose here is too big. I think I got five sixteenths. I should have got a fourth. This is, I think, three sixteenths or one eighth. So this one fits on here smoothly because it's too big. And that's, this is one fourth inch and that's one eighth inch. So it's half the size. They mismatched the tank uh, drain with a carburetor. So anyway, I'm putting gas in here. I'm siphoning it. Uh, and then I've got to connect up the throttle linkage here. As you can probably see, I can't see in my phone that good. I got to connect the tachometer to the spark plug wire right here. I wrap it around there. I've got to connect the on off switch here, which I got to disconnect this screen. It's wired down here. I don't know if you can see it right here with my hand. I disconnect that, pull it through here, pull it out here, and over and plug it into where that wire ends wherever it ends around here oh right here see right there that little male plug i gotta plug it in there and then this wire here i've got to ground because that's what how you kill the engine you ground the spark so that's what we got to do today so i'm gonna get busy doing that and we'll be back with more for my paradise on bentayan island we'll test in hopefully the gas doesn't leak because i don't want to screw around with it. I mean, I can take this off easily. That's the beauty of this. This hose is too big. It just falls off, basically. But I double clamped it here. Hope you can see that. Yeah, I double clamped it here uh, just to try to get a good seal. And from what I can tell, the problem is I can't tell if there's gas in this line or not. I don't see gas. So let me let me fool around with this for a while, and then we'll be back. Paradise. Hey out. there, folks. Well, I started out earlier today. And I had to hook up the fuel lines here. Let's see it should go back there somewhere. If it'll stay, it won't stay. Okay, it's going to stay there. Had to hook up the fuel lines. Had to hook up the tachometer. Here, it's a it's an induction tachometer. So you wrap the wire, this little black wire, like here. It goes to the tachometer right there. Uh, it's also an hour meter. Tell you how many hours you got on your you've been running your engine. It's a non-volatile memory thing, so it stays in there. And when you start it, it'll kick on and show you the... Actually, it'll show you the RPMs. I don't know if it'll show you the hours when you're running, but it'll show you the hours when you turn it off. So, and then after 10 minutes or five or so, it, it turns that off. It's got a little built-in timer thing, so the battery doesn't run down. It's got a little nickel, uh, you know, lithium... Uh, little battery in there so anyway we got started i was having i couldn't start the thing and there's hardly any on the other 150s pulling this ro rope is kind of hard you know i mean you can pull through the compression strokes and it's i mean you're you're having to put you know put some back into it uh but this one was so easy and I, I don't know, they've got a relief valve on the exhaust that at a low RPM, it opens it up early so that if it sparks too soon, it doesn't kick back. But I don't know how that affects compression. So anyway, that's another topic. But what I had to do to get it to start, I actually had to push the uh, throttle up some because it wouldn't start with it all the way back so at the when i bought this thing they just put gas in it and pulled the put on the choke and pulled the thing and first time it just boom started it right up so that's what i thought i would do i just put it all in hook up the gas uh turn on the choke pull it and it would start right up didn't 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 and i tried and tried and tried and tried, and tried. You got it to start didn't. by giving it a little more throttle so one of the and things I'll... that i did on the carburetor here this black little plastic piece here this is this is the throttle cable here and this is the butterfly that opens and closes to make the engine go fast and slow but the idle was set too low i think so i cranked it up some so we're good to go 
I think we're good to go. I still, like I said, got to fine tune this, got to figure out where the throttle is. I may have to loosen this clamp and pull this more tight. Something I may, you know, I'm going to have to do some kind of a wiggle thingy adjustment to get this all fine tuned so that when I pull it, it starts the first time under load. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to start it again. You'll get to hear it. Okay. I will, before I do that, though, I'm going to disconnect the cross joint so we're not under load. And then at some tomorrow, I'll fiddle faddle with the uh, throttle adjustment, the cabling, the cable adjustment for the throttle huddle so that it's set at a position where when it's all the way back here, uh, it'll start. And then forward, forward is just, you know, go faster. So we shall be back with more. Right there, guys, we got the, uh, you guys, if you've been watching the videos, you've seen this is the 30 horsepower uh, kicker motor mount. That's the 15 horsepower kicker motor mount. We're going to put the 15 on here before we actually run this so that if this motor should not work when we're out there, we can fire up the 15 and get back. So the beauty of more than one engine. Everybody else boat this side 19 feet boat foot boats only have one engine those bigger ones they'll have two see those big ones like that they usually have two two of these and they may have different horsepowers too they may have a 15 and a 12 or a 12 and a seven or a seven and a half or who knows what combination is just whatever they want to put in their boat and they stack them one goes up here and that's a costco style boat so it it, it works in that it doesn't work in uh uh flat bottom boats like this one here this is a this is a three cut racing hull here this these aren't racing boats but you get a wide uh floor here where you can kind of wiggle your legs aren't your feet aren't like that you can spread your legs out and sit in a chair and stand up. all right folks we gotta run it we gotta run it these uh This is just an induction tap, so it's giving you a ballpark each thing and it's not precision, but it lets you know what's going on. So we got to start it up. We're running, you can hear it. You can probably see that. That's the propeller there. We disconnect that because it will take off if you, uh, you know, if you have it. You know, I gotta wait for a good tide so I can take this boat out, run it for a couple of hours, run it all around, maybe go over to Mac 10, maybe go through the channel there between Cebu, uh, Mandawi, and uh, Mac 10 Island. Uh, that guy, I gotta break this engine in, and you gotta tide, time the tide so I can get back over that reef. Because if the tide gets really low, I can't get over that reef, and I have to anchor way out there, and then I have to swim. 700 meters, <laughs> almost a kilometer back to shore here. So, watch those tide charts, folks. In areas like this, we don't have harbors, and I mean, we don't, not here, we've got a bay, but this tide just goes down to where, I mean, it's just mud. You know, there's no water at all on a low tide here. So, anyway, I'm just fiddling around, letting this thing run, and we're doing good. We're running. All she fits too. I didn't tell you that. We got about a quarter, or maybe I did in another video. But this is a 150 SR Sumo Racing. This is uh, here. Sumo Racing Division engine here, and uh, it's got a Hemi head on it, not just a regular. Uh, yeah, it's got two valves. It doesn't have four valves, which would be nice if it had four valves and a fuel injection, but that ain't happening for probably another five or ten years before they start getting fuel injection on these things. But that would really raise the fuel economy, raise the horsepower. Uh, it starts the first time. They may put electric start on here, too, someday. Who knows? It'd be nice. Uh, they do have electric start on the generators that use the Sumo engines, so... 
you know, there's probably a mountain fort somewhere. So anyway, we are going to let this baby just run. I'll change, I'll vary the speed a little bit. We're at a thousand. I'll kick it up to 1200, let it run 15 minutes to 12, back it down to a thousand, maybe go to 13 or 14, let it run five minutes there, back it down to nine to 10 minutes. Just kind of cycling. You want to vary your speed because it makes your ring seat. This is what the expert engineers say. It makes your ring seat uh, properly. So don't just run it at a high speed. The book says don't run it without a load. Well, I'm running it without a load. That's just, if I put a load on here, it's the prop and we take off. Or I drag against the anchor and Anyway, it gets too scary, so I'm going to go and play with the uh, speeds and let this thing uh, do a little break-in before I take it out. Yonder. 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 There's, that's my, that's Mac-10. I'll go there. First, I'll go around like these little uh, container boats that they have. Big. They're not little. Little. Uh, container boats and ferry boats and stuff. I'll go around them a couple of times. I'll do a couple of loops and then maybe I'll head over there or head up, up the channel, whatever, something like that. So we'll, we'll see. It just depends on the weather and if there's any other ships and stuff in the way or whatever's going on. So we and the beautiful ocean, just smooth as, not glass, but it's glassy, very glassy. I, I mean, the waves are one and a half inches. <laughs> this is about it, folks. Loving it. Just loving it. So, Paradise, that's a catamaran, by the way. We're going to drop the 30 horsepower down on that thing, too, at some point, and that might get fun. This one here, we're going to have 30 plus a 15 plus a 15, so that's 60 horsepower on this thing, and we'll see what that'll do. I'll